Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, probably wondering why, I, why am I doing another review this week? Because the new week is coming so quickly, which is going to put me off schedule. I got to do the new reviews for this week and get caught up so for next week so I probably will be saving the anime figure and just reviewing what I got in hand probably gonna review this entire haul of random figures first on the bucket list we got to review is the NSC warthog and a bunch of minions figures because they're making they have that minions movie out and I definitely wanted to review these. First on the list, we got this noise making, I think it's Kevin or or Bob. I think it's Bob, if I'm correct or mistaken. I don't know the Minions by heart. I know Groove as far as I know Minions. <coughs> and he makes noise when you tap his head. And this is so fun to mess around with. Yeah, next we got another Bob, another Kev, Bob, you know what I mean? I think Bob is the one with the one eye. And he's got this weird optical eye. And this is a plush of him. If that's adorable and cute. Why not? There I say, why not? And I think Kev, this is the uh, other guy with the two eyes. I don't know his name. That might have been Kevin, it might have been Bob, I don't know. Minions. But yeah, I got another one of these minions. And he's got his trousers and his eyeglasses, which is pretty cool. Got ones with one eye, some with two eyes. Like this guy. He's like, eh, scared kind of face. You know what I mean? He doesn't have any pose ability. Shame, really. Next on the list, we got this guy. He's got a rocket launcher, so go pew with the rocket and blow you away. That's adorable. You know what I mean? Adorable minions. Next, we got a minion with a guitar. You go like rock on and rock out. We got a minion with a hair with a wig and be like. Ooh, da, da. <laughs> uh, got this minion on vacation and be like, I'm on vacation. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Next on the list, we got this golden minion singing, I want to rock, rock. Do, do, I want to rock. Yep, we got a minion on a old timey bicycle being like riding around the neighborhood oh no big wheel bike but now we're gonna look at the NSC Warthog which is the, what we probably came here to see at the Halo NSC Warthog we got Master Chief another figure basically on the box but we don't have that figure Master Chief and a figure included with this vehicle, which I just straight up customized. And then we got a product shot of all the other figures in this line, which is pretty cool by my standards. Pretty cool figures. I'm going to have to make it my goal to pick up more. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Here we got the NSC Warthog in hand. It rolls very well and we're gonna look at the first figure we got with this this is my custom figure i was making a custom halo squad out of 
extra master cheese and this is my first ever Omega one squad figure my Omega squad Spartan figures which looks pretty cool of course we, we kept master chief the way he was because he's master chief man he is hardcore man for my Omega one he he's a bit tight in places I'm not gonna bother moving his knees or anything because he's really tight in a lot of his joints but now we can put him on the vehicle and he can go pew pew bang bang just gonna have to get him on the peg oops hit the tripod my bad <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't fight me here. And now we got Master Chief and Omega-1 in the Warthog. And the turret can move due to its movability. So we can go fire in there. Turret is really tight on this, so it's hard to get it moving. So you can have it fire in there, which is pretty cool. And this is definitely going in my Halo collection. And I look forward to doing more Halo in the future because, man... Halo is an awesome figure line. And my custom Omega 1 turned out really nice. And I loved how it turned out with the blue. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. It was like this. Oh, I forgot about one item I'm reviewing. The last piece of item. Sorry if I almost ended this review. But we'll be reviewing this as well. This is a light-up lightsaber. Oh, yeah, I've had... I got this from the Goodwill outlet. And it's the last item on our old-school slash new-school bucket list. And, man, this is cool. Starts out as Anakin Skywalker. Press the button to turn it off. And then it turns red into Darth Vader's lightsaber. And that is pretty cool. Probably wondering where I got these items from. I got these thrift store items from the thrift store and the NSC Warthog I got from Amazon. Are these worth adding to your collection if you're a Halo fan? And a Star Wars fan and Minions fan? Yes, these are worth the money. If you can get them for a good price, I highly recommend you pick them up. And now, this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out, YouTube land.